Hi, hello, hello. Um, so back to doing the DIY kit. It is a glorious Thursday. It's absolutely boiling. And uh, yes, if we can keep this under half an hour, eh? So previously we did the cover and the first set of pages. Now, the first set of pages that we did, let me move the cover as well. So we coloured the plain sheet that we had, um, inked up nicely, give it a little bit of a, a little rip. This side, we backed one side with the wallpaper, which I really like. And if I just unpin this, we made this little flippy pocky thing. So out of this paper bag, which was one of the, um, the paper bags that they, the bits in the kit come in. So this is gonna be mounted on here. I still don't like the background. So I did pull out a couple of pieces out of the um, collage fodder just to back the bottom of this. You will still see the edges here. So I'm gonna cover that bit with the green, I think that way. And then the top there with that, because I like it. So let's do that. Um, so I hope it's nice and sunny where you are. It's absolutely sweltering in sunny old Leeds. Um, my poor kids will be at school forced to play out in this. I don't know. I get so tired when it's sunny. I can't be bothered to to do anything. And I certainly could imagine nothing worse than running around a playground like an absolute loon. Trying to play out in this, it's horrendous. Bring on the misery of winter, I say. I hate the summer. <laughs> I've spent the morning chasing flies around with a tea towel because I can't stand them. Like, they can get in the smallest of teeny tiny little cracks of window that you leave open just to try and get a breath of fresh air. And then... You can literally have the door open and they still can't figure their way around. I'm gonna like that. Just to get out the door, it's oh horrendous. How wonky have I done this? Let's just trim it like this, shall we? Don't really want it showing on that side. Yeah, I can't stand them. Ugh, ming in. And my cats, I've got two Persian cats at home. And they're rubbish. They don't they, they they just ignore them. They don't. They don't even care. There's flies messing about and flying around, and ugh, they don't even care. That's not it. Do I want to go that way? Do I want to go that way? I think I want to go that way. So let's just pull that down a smidge. We've gone for a non-straight edge on this, so let's stick with it, shall we? I mean, how, how crooked this must that be? Is that my... You see, when you're watching me doing these, I do hope it gives all the amateurs out there hope that you don't, <laughs> you don't need any sort of artistic talent because I certainly don't have any. Um, now, what was the deal there? How did that happen? Right, going this way. It's fine, going this way. Now I've done it a smidge lower down, but geez. Yeah, you're watching me, you must think, well, God, I mean, she can muddle her way through it. So can I. Let's leave it at that, shall we? So that little scrap I'm not going to keep, but the other two bits I will because they could come in handy for a bit of collaging. Um, I should try and give a bit of colour to the edges as well. Although I don't think there's much left on this now. So I think I'm going to stitch around this page as well. Because, because I can and because I want to. Right, I'm going to have to pull this forward so I can see because I'm going to end up headbutting the camera otherwise. What 
what we like on that side. Not bad, that'll do. Happy with that. So before we stitch or attach this, yeah, I like that, that's nice. Can you see that properly? Um, yeah, and we'll just glue the back of that straight down. Yeah, I'm just gonna run a stitch around there. Um, yeah, back in two. All right, so we're back. So I've run a stitch around the edge, just frames it. Looks quite all right in the back as well. And then this, I'm gonna stick in here. Um, I'm just gonna pin it on for now, but I don't think I want to do anything else on this page, but just before I make any decisions, I like to just pin things where they're gonna go. Um, so that's that one. So I've moved my box to this side now because I've got the sewing machine out. So I'm going to stick that in there safely out of the way. I did, because I was so unorganised on the last one. So I'll take the liberty of, of sort of chucking a few bits together. Um, cross my heart, it's all out of the box. I've, I'm, I'm not cheating. I've got everything um, out of the little box, which would be collage fodder. Um, and I thought, we'll go, we'll change colour theme. Let's go over a nice retro -y, mustardy sort of colour. So I was kind of thinking, because this is the straw paper, we could have this as a bit of a tuck and we can get a tag in there. Um, but I think I want to back here. Now you won't see right inside, so it doesn't matter that this doesn't go to the edge. Um, but I think I want to use some of this, sort of back it and then I want to use see I thought I was really organized I'm going to use some of this to just fill this in but I need a taller piece don't I yes Donna you do need a taller piece that's going to go uh, what about this what about the, the wallpaper Yeah, bugger it, I like that. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. So, I'm just going to cut a wee piece of this off. Um, kind of there-ish. doesn't really matter how far in I go because you're not going to see it anyway. And then that, I think, like that. Um, and then on the inside, before I stitch, this is one of the envelopes that you get. So these are reproduction of um, original sort of 30s envelopes. These are, um, I mean, you can see from the stamp, Tis Not Elizabeth. How old they are. So you've got George on there. So that I thought would be quite a cool pocket. And we can go back through and we will go back through and sort of, pretty these up and sort of butterflies and, and fluttery bits. Um, then I was thinking maybe a tab on here. These pieces you'll find in your kits that are quite cool. I mean, they're fabric, if you can see that, but they're paper backed, so they're really easy to stick on. And I like to use these as tags on the page, but I also pulled this out because it kind of went with the theme. So maybe, what way around do you go? Like that, so maybe a bit of a fabric pocket on this side. Maybe not quite so tall. Maybe something like that. Or maybe something shaped. We could shape it almost. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do something on that side as well. So they are for the other side. So here I'm going to get, excuse my arm, the walnut stain just to give this edge some definition because we want it quite visible as a pocket. Lots of people do the little thumb, um, get a, a circle punch and do like a little thumb hole, which is, um, I don't really do on the side tucks, but you absolutely can if you want to, totally up to you. I mean, of course, this isn't, don't get me wrong, this isn't a tutorial of how you have to build your journal. This is literally just to show you how easy it is and how unartistic minded or talented you you can be to to sort of make it work with one of the kits so yeah let's let's get this glued down and i'm going to use a 
I'm going to use art glitter glue for this. Um, because, oh god, there's a fly in here. I can hear it. It's like they haunt me. Yeah, I hate them. Um, it's taunting me. Ah! My god, right, back in a min. And I'm back. Don't worry, before anyone complains about animal cruelty, I didn't kill it because it was too fast. Um, it got wafted out the window. See, this is what makes me want to gaffer tape the windows up just so they can't get in because that's how much I hate them. That and the pollen and the ridiculous heat and the lack of air and ugh. Bring on Halloween autumn and winter and yeah that's when i come alive right so that's your first bit let's plonk this on the bottom and then that's the that's the wee pocket still thinking about that wallpaper not convinced not sure i mean i have a bad habit of trying to like colour coordinate everything and I need to embrace the the madness that is junk journaling and the fact that you know because you're trying to use odds and ends and bits and bobs it isn't always going to match and even me who professes to do it for a living I struggle with that I'm like but it, but it, the colours they're not the same I, yeah I need to kind of get over myself a little bit Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'll probably put something here, maybe a washi sticker or a cluster or something. But what we'll do, once we've prepped all the pages and um, we've done all the tags and all the, the inserts and stuff, what's left, what I like to do if I've given myself sort of a finite amount of, of stuff to use, is literally just get the scraps, tear them up, pin them together and run a stitch through and, and just make a little cluster. How animated are my hands then? But yeah, just to make a little cluster to stick on the edge of pages just for a bit of interest, just to use the scraps up. And um, yeah, I really like doing that. I think that's cool. So shall we do it? It's, it's, it looks a hideous colour on the camera. It's a lot paler than it looks on there. That doesn't look nice at all, but it's, it's all right. So let's trim it down. Stick my needle in there, otherwise that'll gunk up. So I think we need to bring out the big cutter for this one, just to try and get a bit of a straight edge. And a selection of cutters. I did always wonder why junk journalers used like 65 different paper cutters. Um, and I now know why. <laughs> Because it's just easier. So, so I try and get a... Let's kind of use that as a straight edge. So we want this to be... Where's my little ruler? I did have a little ruler. Inches on it, inches. There aren't any inches, Donna. There aren't any inches. All right, centimetres then. We want this to be, ah, bang on four and a half is what we need. So if I can get, if I can knock that glue over, genius. And there is four and a half at that sort of line. Let's see what that strip's doing. Yeah, down with that. Right. Somebody's stolen my pencil again. That'll be one of the kids. Do that. Give it a little... I'm sure this size of cutter is now not necessary, but let's run with that. Get you out of the way. save it and then let's bring this back in and I think that way looks better I think 
She fits. Marvellous. Now you can't see the inking anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Annoying. So. Let's try and do that. Ew, I hate when it does that. Anyway. So let's, let's commit. Let's just do it. That's what we need to do. Just go for it instead of overthinking. You think too much into it. You dawdle about. You never get anything done. And I want to get this page finished. See, because I've stopped and started the, uh, the video, I actually don't know how long I've been wittering for. So, so this will be a nice surprise, won't it? I may have to cut it down into separate parts. Oh, why haven't I done the middle? Idiot. Honestly. Too busy thinking about the time. So definitely that way around. So line it up at the bottom. There, done, boom. Like it. Yeah, and that's quite cool. And obviously you won't see that, but there'll be a different page behind it. But done and we can do some cool decorating on there. So this side, I'm going to leave the back of the page and I want to stitch this in place. It is a little bit shorter, but I don't mind that because you don't want anything too near the spine because by the time you've got your bulk of your pages, you're not going to be able to close it. So I'm going to do the same again, give them a good ink. And Let's just run a bead of glue just to hold it in place. And then we'll do some stitching. Progress, eh? To be fair, if I had bought this kit and was doing it at home, I wouldn't want to be racing through it because that's the fun. I'd probably do a little bit a day or maybe even come to sort of, you know, you could, I suppose you could even put the pages in and stitch them in and sort of decorate as you go along, as you as you come to fill up the pages, which is kind of part of what you do anyway. Like it. So this page. Now, shall we have a fabric pocket on here? Because it goes quite nicely. And I pulled that out and thought it was a nice little tab. That could be quite cute. Shall we? Yeah, although I think I am going to trim it down. So I think I'm going to try and, yeah. In fact, let's just do it that way. We get a nice torn edge. Yeah, let's do it that way. I'm going to back it onto something just to give it a bit more strength because otherwise it's going to be a bit flimsy, isn't it? And I don't know if I want it. Sort of maybe curved and as a tuck rather than a pocket. So let's back it onto something. Um, I've got loads of spare paper up here. So I'm just going to sort of do that. Some glue sticks are surprisingly good with fabric, you know. You don't always have to reach for the expensive liquidy sort of fabricy three in one and if you're going to stitch the pocket anyway it's, again it's just to hold it in its place so i think i'm going to do that and i'm going to cut and curve <laughs> done it the wrong way all right, no, I did it on purpose. That's the way we're going to have it now. Honestly. Yep, you see, it happens to the best of us. So yeah, so that can go there. 
and I am still going to have a wee tab. So let's see again. It's easier just to stick down with the paper backing. Hi, Stuart. That's my cat. It's coming to see what I'm doing. He's one of the Persians. Hey, how are you? He's coming to say, my God, it's warm. What are you doing? Why is it so warm in here? It's not my fault. So this I'm going to literally just fold in half. Give it a good crease. Probably not on the page, but... And then, I wonder how far out I'm going to want it, because if I get my cover back, yeah, it's quite an inny one, so it can, we can have it quite far out. It can be quite a big tab. So let's just have it right on the edge, I think. And then when we stitch, it'll hold it in place. You do have to choose your pages wisely when you're putting tabs on because if you've got something quite flimsy, if you've got one of the older sort of vintagey book pages um, and you put a heavy, thick fabric tag on it, as you turn your page, you're going to tear it. So you do have to sort of think about that a little bit. Um, so I'm going to stitch all the way around here, which will skip this so it's still a tuck. Um, what are we going to do that as a tuck or a pocket? Oh, it's tuck now. Um, so it's going to catch the edges of that and hold our side tuck in. And then here, same again, if I stitch all the way around, it's going to catch our tab. It's going to catch the edge of this little tuck, hold everything nicely in place. Do you just have to think about this side? Should we leave you blank? Because we still, we've got quite a bit of weight on here already. So I think, well, yeah, we will. We'll leave that one blank for now. We may change our mind. Um, so I'm going to stitch and I'm going to come back That'd be a sec. All right, so we're back and we've stitched. One thing I should have pointed out because I didn't want too tight a little tuck spot. I stitched down this side before I folded and stitched down here. So there is a, a sort of missing line of stitching, if you like. Um, I'm cool with it. It doesn't really bother me if it. If you did something similar and it bothered you, you could always go in with a, a pen uh, and do it. You could stitch a line first before you did the rest of the stitching. If you want to so sort of stitch the little flappy bit, stitch that side um, and you wouldn't notice. But it, it doesn't really bother me, to be honest. Um, but it's secured that nice and, and tight. So anything we put in there is going to stay in snug. We've stitched around this page as well. Put a couple of zigzag stitches in there. Um, and that's held the tab in quite nicely. Hey, we did it. So that's the second full page. So let's grab our journal back and think about it. So that's the, I don't know what order these pages are going to go in yet, but let's presume it's like that. Yeah, like it some really cool colours. The, the pages, especially when you back these pages, they feel really thick and really sturdy and um, solid. You know, you wouldn't think it was literally just, you know, a bit of collage fodder and, and scrap stuff that, that you're putting together to make your journal. So so we've got two pages done. Woohoo. Um, we'll move on. We've got lots more pages to do. This is going to be quite a long series, I suspect. But um, I don't know, is that better if we do longer um, a longer series and shorter vids. Um, I don't know, I feel like when they get onto sort of an hour, it's it's a bit much um, and I'd get bored and it's my channel. Um, yeah, any comments on that, let me know, won't you? Uh, but we'll leave it there. Okay, bye-bye.